Hello everyone, I am Todd Nils Nyholm. I'm a somatic therapist and author and the founder of the Nitality Method. And today I just wanted to work on a method or two for us to chill out together. So we'll work through this. You can do it with me, you can do it often and see if you can learn how to change how your nervous system is working a little bit so that you can feel a little bit better. A lot of us are amped up a lot of the time, so we're going to use this to chill out. So I think the first thing that can be really helpful is to understand that you're going to use your body to change how you feel, to change your state, to change your mind, to change your emotions, and uh, see if you can get yourself into a new state. So one of the best ways to do this is just to sit up a bit straight and try to get your head towards the top of the ceiling. This does some interesting things to your body, but it also activates this part of you called the locus ceruleae, which sometimes it can be helpful to look up just a little bit so that you're mechanically moving your eyes and looking up. And then another good way to get to the next step is to just close your eyes and kind of shut out what's going on outside of you a little bit. Even if you just hold that for a few minutes, not even a few minutes, a few seconds, though you can certainly do a few minutes, you'll notice that it starts to just change a little bit. And if you do it for a while, you notice that big breath I just took, you can see your body start to change over into something else. Now you don't have to keep your eyes closed. You can just do that for a minute to reset a little bit. Now, your breath is really interesting, and it's why a lot of people use it to help change state, because it's both sort of involuntary and voluntary, and we're going to meet where that comes together to get a nice change. And so typically, the more anxious you are, the faster your breath gets. So what we want to do is just find it a little bit. Just feel what your breathing is doing. What's its pace, and what's its rhythm? Once you find it, you might notice that it just naturally slows down a little bit. Now you don't want to force that, but you do want to encourage a little bit, just coax it a little bit. And the more anxious you are, the more likely your breath is coming up here. And so it's useful to just let it sink down from your chest to your diaphragm, to your belly and all the way down into your pelvis if you can. If you can get the bottom of your pelvis to feel like it's engaging a little bit when you breathe, that'll change how you feel. Now one of the best things about this is that you're actually putting your attention on something that isn't making you anxious. You're kind of stripping it away from things outside of you and putting it inside yourself as you learn how to do these. So as you practice getting your breath a little bit lower, Getting it down maybe to your belly, feeling your belly expand and your lower back expand, and feeling it down into your pelvis. And now we're going to go just a little bit farther into our mind, into our imagination. And you want to bring that breath down your mouth, down the center of your body, into your legs, and all the way down to your feet. And you're doing that with your mind a little bit. You get a nice belly breath. And you move the air down to your feet, all the way down into your toes. And once you get a bit of that sensation, bring the breath down to your pinky toes. And then move the breath to the fourth toe. And just mentally move it to the third toe and to the second toe. And now to your big toes. And now bring the breath down to your pinkies. and your ring fingers and your middle fingers and to your index fingers and to your thumbs now a lot of what we're doing here is pulling our attention like I said from the outside environment into our body 
And we can use our body as an instrument to change how we feel. You can use it to change how you think. You can use it to change your emotions. You can put all that together so that you can make yourself feel a whole lot better, which is a lot of what I specialize in trying to teach. So once we get that kind of feeling, we're going to do something a little different here. And you want to try to look forward a little bit and then just relax your eyes and try to see what's going on out to the sides of you, out here, rather than straight in front of you. And see if you can use that to get a little bit of change in your state. You see, the more focused you are, the more anxious you are, the more you tend to do this tunnel vision thing. So we're using our body to work with our brain to change how we're functioning from there. The default state is actually one of feeling kind of good. So if you can get your mind to be kind of quiet, to just kind of chill out a little bit, if there isn't a lot of pain in your body, you'll notice that your mood starts to just sort of gently and lightly elevate. It's almost like life becomes a little bit sweet, although that might take a fair amount of practice to get there. It certainly did for me. But if you can just kind of like let everything calm down a bit, there's a little bit of sweetness there. So we're still working our eyes out to the side. Now try to feel your whole body and try to feel around your body. So in the same way we changed our visual perception, you want to try to feel everything around you using your body. And obviously this is sort of imaginative, it's like a felt imagination, so you don't necessarily need an image, but you want to reach just a little bit beyond yourself, almost with your nervous system, trying to feel the environment around you, the air moving around. It's nice and easy. This is playful. In no way is it work. It's the opposite of work. It's kind of fun and artistic and imaginative and sort of safe. You're just trying to get a chance of, to feel what's going on around you and create that safe sensation within you that your body feels safe. And so we feel everything from there. Still just letting that breath be nice and easy down into the torso and into the bottom of the pelvis. Now once you have some of that feeling, try to just dance with it a little bit, just try to feel it a little bit, feel it in your body, just your body's nice and loose and relaxed and maybe it sways, maybe it's upright, doesn't matter too much, just nice and easy. And try to milk the feeling of ease, of just being comfortable where you are, just being here in this moment. Nothing else is happening, you just have your body here, you have your breath. You have that felt sensation. A lot of people are actually suffering their mind. They're suffering their emotions. And it's often because their mind and emotions are everywhere else but here. They're in the future, they're in the past, they're, what are people thinking about me? What's going on over there? Why is this happening? Why, why is a person doing this? None of which is under your control which of course is going to call it anxiety, you can't change it. But what you can change is what you're doing here, what you have going on now, the state that you're in. You can change that way more than you can imagine. Just most people have taught you to put all your attention outside of you because it helps them get what they want from you. Now make no mistake, you do need, of course, to be in your environment. But certain moments in the day you can practice these methods and just chill yourself out, which is, you know, getting into your body, lifting your head a little bit, relaxing, just kind of let your body relax. Just kind of bringing your attention out here with your visual center, kind of feeling everything around you through your body. And you'll notice over time you could get some interesting capacity to change how you feel through your body, which will affect your mind and your emotions. You also notice I'm talking a little bit slow. You can kind of work that with yourself. Most people are talking super quick. They're running around really fast. And you're training your brain to function that way. You want to train to function it a little different way. If I can talk slowly and calmly, 
what am I teaching my brain to do? And it's okay to function that way, and our emotions and our body can come along with it. So there's a lot of little cool things that you can do that will help you to feel better. So. Keep at that for a little while. Sorry, I had a little computer malfunction there. But use this time to just relax, to feel yourself, to feel what's going around you, and to be calm. You have to like teach yourself to do it because you've been taught to be anxious in a lot of ways. You've been taught to be distracted and split and having your attention everywhere by everybody else because it serves them. Uh, it's time to start serving you. It's time to start getting a little bit of control over yourself and you do a lot of that through your body and through where you are at the moment. So hopefully you get something out of this. Feel free to come back to it. Do the methods with me if that helps. Listen to my voice. Hopefully that's a bit calming. Um, it's meant to be. It's kind of how I'm talking to, to help chill your system out as I chill my own out. It's helpful to do with other people so hopefully doing it with me here is helpful. And follow for more tips to feel better to learn how to get better control over how your, your mind works, how your emotions work, how your brain works through different techniques, and we'll talk more about it. So we'll see you next time. Please subscribe, and I hope you got a lot out of it.